The Shama Maximus and the Earth Runner Circadian are both nine millimeter barefoot running sandals with a lot to offer, but they're also very different. So in today's video, we are gonna compare the Maximus and the Circadian and see which one is gonna be the best option for you. If you're interested in that, go ahead and stick around. Hello, my name is Nick. I'm interested in barefoot running, minimal running, Hirache style sandal running. If you're interested in that, reviews, comparisons, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let's try and grow this channel and get more content. With that, we are gonna get into it. So these are both great barefoot minimal running sandals. I've done individual reviews of both the Maximus and the Circadian, but I thought I'd do one video just putting them head to head just so the comparison was a little bit easier. Starting out, the weight. So the Circadian is going to be 13.5 ounces for one uh, sandal. The Maximus is going to be, it was 10.3 ounces, I believe. I'll make sure to put the proper weight down if that wasn't right. And so if weight is your only concern, then the Maximus is going to be the sandal for you. But there's a lot more that goes into these sandals than just weight. So I thought we'd break down each of these components, starting out with the outsole. So starting out, the Maximus is the Vibram Nuflex outsole. This is in that zigzag style pattern. Hopefully you can see that. I'll get some close-ups later. And this is very responsive. It feels great. It's very grippy. It feels very natural underfoot. That compared to the Circadian, which is the Vibram gum light outsole in this kind of nubby style pattern. Now, both of these sandals are going to feel very minimal. You're going to get great ground feel. But to me, the way they go about getting that ground feel is very different. On the Maximus, this feels like a softer rubber. I, I don't know how else to explain it, where when walking on different uh, materials and things I almost feel like there's a little bit of a squish it's almost like an extension of the pads on the balls of your foot and your heel right but it's the whole sandal is, is that thickness so it feels like an extension of that it feels very natural underfoot just let a little bit extra protection it still articulates and moves really well but I feel like the earth runner might flex a little bit better and I think that's because of this nubby style pattern with all of these different nubs on here there's a lot of places for the sandal to flex and articulate so even though this sandal feels firmer it feels like a bed of rubber that you're just up on top of with all those nubs and all those flex points you end up getting something that feels really good underfoot especially when going on natural surfaces so when you're walking through grass mulch over branches that kind of thing it moves really well and it feels very protective so when it comes to these sandals, if you're interested in a softer feeling footbed, the Maximus would be a better bet. If you're interested in a more firm feeling footbed, or not footbed, if you're interested in a more soft feeling outsole, then the Maximus would be a good option. If you're interested in a firmer outsole, then the Circadian would be a good option. Moving along, we have the footbed. So I'm just gonna be speaking on the footbeds I have here. So the Ultra Grip on the Maximus and then the canvas on the Circadian. But keep in mind, Earthrunner offer a non-canvas version and Shama also offer a leather version. When picking a footbed, to me, it comes down to two questions. What are the worst conditions that you're running in? And how often do you actually want to wear these sandals? If you have wet, muddy conditions, and really the Ultra Get footbed is going to be the best option. It doesn't hold on to moisture, grime, it cleans off very easy, and you maintain a lot of grip while you're running through those sections. Compared to the canvas where I think this looks really good, and I like the patina, the way it wears in when you have all those miles on them, but in wet conditions, this canvas for me definitely became very soaked. Thin sheet of cold canvas underfoot, which when running is no fun. In muddy runs, that mud caked on and with each step, I felt like I was just driving the mud deeper into the weave of the canvas and it ended up becoming not just cold, but cold and slippery. And that was no fun. And then my toes were ramming into this front toe post. On dry days with a little bit of a sweat going, 
these are great, no issues. But on those wet, muddy, nasty conditions, these are not my favorite. Not that they can't be used, but it's just not ideal. So knowing that they're both capable, if you know that you're going to have wet, nasty conditions, Ultra Grip is going to be the way to go or some kind of rubber compound if you're looking at other companies. I'm sure they'd be just as good. Um, if you're just looking for fair, fair weather, you know, running it when it's nice out, maybe around town, the canvas would be good. I think that's also an important note too, is are you gonna, do you wanna run with these sandals when it's wet and nasty out? Then good, that's fine, but maybe the ultra grip's better. If you're more of a fair weather runner and you're like, hey, I just want sandals for when it's nice out and then when it gets nasty out, I'll just throw on a pair of shoes, some trail runners, that kind of thing. That's a good option too. So maybe these would be good for you. Moving on, we have the lacing system. So also very different on these. Starting out with the circadian here, I'm a big fan of this lacing system. Even though it's super minimal, it's incredibly functional and it works really well. I was very surprised. These are the adventure laces, so they're a little bit stiffer and tougher, but they work well. Relacing this, I'm very confident I'd be able to do this with, you know, buying another strap from Earth Runners or even just making my own with some nylon webbing that I find out there. The buckle here, it's the only thing holding this down. It holds really well. There's no issues. But something to keep in mind is because this is so simple, there's very limited adjustments. You can make things tighter. I actually ended up doing a double, double loop on the medial side, on the inside of here, just to try and adjust where this top uh, foot strap was striking. And that seems to help out a little bit. But that is a little bit of a downside. It's minimal, it's simple, but it also limits to what you can adjust on these. Also, these are tough laces. These will take a while to break in. And even now I'm probably going on like five months and I feel like I'm still trying to break these in. Um, just something to keep in mind. And that also, jumping back to the footbed, it's in the footbed too, it takes a while to break in. But they work really well. I would feel very comfortable on runs going on technical terrain. Now, moving on to the Maximus, we have their elite lacing system, and there's a lot more going on here. We have ultra suede, we have Velcro, we have some kind of webbing, possibly a nylon. I'm not sure what this actual material is. We got this buckle here. Um, on the bottom, we have these plastic retainers, I guess you would call them. So there's a lot more going on, but even though there's more going on, that's also a great thing because now you have a lot more points to adjust. I can make this strap tighter. I can use this one with the Velcro, make that tighter and pull the sandal over, heel strap. So there's a lot more going on. I feel more secure in these because there's more going on on top. And I definitely think that's a plus when it comes to the Maximus and just the Shama in general is the elite lacing system. Not that the Earth Runner doesn't work, but I like the added security of these. I guess if I had to sum it up with both of these lacing systems, I would feel very comfortable on a easy to medium technical difficulty, knowing I can push these to a pretty technical terrain, getting over rocks, lots of roots, that kind of thing on trails. I'd feel comfortable with that, knowing I can push in it to further. With the circadian, I would feel comfortable on easy technical terrain, knowing I could push it to medium and more difficult, but it wouldn't be my first choice of sandal. Also, I guess a quick note, if you're into grounding and that's your one criteria, the circadian or grounding sandal, the shama is not. So I guess it wins there. In conclusion, just summarizing all these thoughts here. If your main concern is weight, the shamas are lighter. So that would be your best option. If you prefer a softer footbed and a softer feel underfoot, the Shama is a good option. If you prefer a more firm feeling underfoot, then the Circadian is a good option. As far as footbeds, if you like the look of the canvas and the way it feels, there's your option. But if you know you have very technical terrain or technical and wet, nasty kind of terrain, muddy, then I would recommend the Ultra Grip. As far as lacing systems, I think they're both very functional, but just keep in mind that the circadian 
right here on the earth runner it's going to take some time to break that in it's very capable and i've even done some light sprinting and things and I, it's i can do it it's not my favorite when compared to a more beefy lacing system here on the shama so something to keep in mind also break-in period to me both sandals require break-in period for sure but i feel like i had less of a break-in period with the shama compared to the earth runner here so that's everything kind of rapid fire here i hope you found this video helpful if you did please like comment subscribe and go ahead and post down below have you tried either of these the circadian or the maximus put them head to head do you agree with my thoughts on these do you disagree and why i'm very curious right now i like the shamas for heavier longer runs i know i can beat them up pretty good and these earth runners super durable feeling i like them a lot and they're actually like my daily wear sandal on top of i know i can take them for runs but definitely not my primary right now all right that's all i have today thank you for spending some time like comment subscribe and happy trails bye